one of the things I was nervous about when I was given this assignment was was really what the brief was, whether it was to kind of produce carbon copies of Adjay pictures or whether it was to explore Paris in the way that Adjay would have explored Paris and and see what's changed. Sometimes you see that very little has changed, you know, almost to the point where you can put the camera in almost exactly the same spot that Adjay would have put it and take exactly the same picture, albeit with a few differences. Like in a shot of a lamppost, one can see that there's now a park bench, there's a rubbish bin, and there's a line of parked cars. Beyond that, there is almost no difference whatsoever. And then in other pictures, everything has changed. Um, If you look at the picture of 41 Rue Broca, somehow for me, I suppose I rather... I rather prefer it when this happens because that was kind of the point of what Ajay was doing in his time was trying to record what he felt was the Paris that was disappearing. So when you arrive at an address that where Ajay had been and see that it did, you see that he managed to record something which is now gone and in some sense you can show what is now there. We didn't really discuss before we started this piece which pictures we were going to recreate we really just decided on areas of Paris that we wanted to explore so really beyond that we were just trying to do perhaps as Adjay would have done which which was to wander around and and have a look for things this is Ed Alcock for the New York Times